All right, it's Wednesday, so let's see. We got to go to work, get gas in the car, pick up the dry cleaning. Oh, yeah, and check out the new Hump Day Twanglick. Howdy, and welcome to the Bender Bunker with Hump Day Twanglick Ocho, number eight. The last one for February 2018, which means this is the last time we'll be hearing the backing track that we've been twanging all over. Legally, of course. Uh, the Shuffle and E. We've had a lot of good times with this, this one, but it's time to move on to a different backing track and a different key uh, for next week. So we look forward to that. I've heard a rumor. It might be G. Can't confirm it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and activate the backing track for the last time for this month. Play the new lick over it so you can decide if you want in and we'll take it from there. All right, boys, take it away for the last time. Okay, so there you have it. We're going to be working the lower strings. We've been way up here all month. We did a little mid work down here. It's time to start trying to twang on the low E section. So if that sounds good for you. Go ahead and grab the guitar of your choice. Not mine. It's staying here. Go get yours and we'll get right to it. All right, let's get hump day twang lick number eight underway. I'm going to play it real quick because you haven't heard it without the backing track. It's down here in the low regions. <laughs> So to get twangy down here in the lower regions, you've, we're normally getting twangy back here with our pick hand right over the bridge pickup. I'm finding to get twangier on the lower regions, I've got to go even further back to the back of the bridge for maximum twang. Because it's a little bit harder to get twangy when you get to the lower, thicker strings. You've got to really get a little bit more aggressive with it, and especially to help it jump out of the mix because the low kind of blends with the bass notes and all that stuff. So we've got to try a little harder to make this lick a little twangier where it's a lot easier to be up here. <laughs> That jumps right out, down here. Gotta get it down here. Okay, so let's get to it. It's not a tough lick. This bottom section is actually either an open string or on the second and fourth fret, what I'm about to show you. There's no third fret involved, so you can cancel that one out of your mind. I'm gonna show you the, the finger positions first, and then we'll go over how to attack them. That's really what we're starting with. So we're going open E, and then we're sliding into the fourth. Then A string second, A string fourth, D string second. We do that again, except this time we don't do D string second, we do D string fourth. When we get there, we give it what I always call a little waggle. And then we go back and do the first one again with the D string on the second. So that's what we need to learn first. Okay. Now, now that you know the hand position for that section, it's time to tell you that the A string part of it is really just ghost noted. The only thing you're actually letting ring out is that first note and then the notes on the D string. So it's... They're more of... A, they're, more, they, they're kind of implied on the A string, but it's really more an excuse to get the that uh, percussive pick sound in there. Okay. So when we get back to the D string on the second fret, what we're gonna do is we're holding, we're gonna roll off of it to an open D. Then our ring finger comes down to the A string, fourth fret. Then you hit the D string open again. Back to the A string, fourth. A string, second. A string, open. on the bottom E, second fret, open. So, one time slow. Now, a little bit more up to speed, and I've, I've found when I'm playing this lick, you gotta really kinda get aggressive with it. You can't be too gingerly with it. You're right, your pick hand's gotta get after a little bit to get that twang out of these bottom notes. <laughs> Okay, so now that we do that, where are we going next? Where are we going way up here, so I'll play it and I'll show you real quick. So let's learn that 
last section though. This is involving the A string and the G string. So the first shape we slide up to, we're sliding up on the A string to the A string 11th fret, and then the G string is two behind it on the 9th. So that's what it should sound like. So what we're doing, we're sliding, and then we're coming back to the A string. Now the first time we go to the A string, we are noting it. When we come back to it, it's more of a ghost note, twice. And then we slide down the G string to the 7th. second time we've got our G string on the ninth we're gonna take that up like that pretty much a full bend up full step in so so I am coming back to that a string 14th fret again and then when I fret that G there on the ninth One time from the top. And then that final shape is again on the A string and the G string. A string on the 12th, G string one behind it on the 11th. I'm going to pick that and then I slide it up to same shape. quick with the backing track last time you hear the shuffle from these boys I'll play it once over for context and we'll take it from there boys do it for the last time for me finish this off here in February and it brings up one last thing and it's gonna harken back that's right I said harken harken back to what I discussed in the very first February hump day twang lick I believe that'd be episode number four or five talked about the twang highway and that's when we were up here doing this kind of lick <laughs> old chestnut so that I described that as a twang highway that got you very easily in a twangy way up and down the neck and then the next lesson we went to was kind of a more mid-range twang highway and now I snuck one last twang highway in inadvertently on you here on the bottom strings because when we come up here well that last shape that we end Today's twang lick on, that actually starts a nice twang highway on the lower strings all the way down. So you can go. So there you have it. When you put all the hump day twang lick lessons together for February and you think about the one we did way up here and the one we did in the mid. And now this one on the bottom strings, you get a lot of twang highway action to play with all across the neck for all six strings. So hopefully we brought it all together here at the end. I will see you next week with new backing tracks, a new key, and a whole new bag of twang. Hopefully I got to go dream it up real quick. Until then, it's never too late to go on a bender. You guys be good. Enjoy your week, and I'll see you next time.